white. What's the best wax? Is the best wax for bubble cube candle? What's the best wax to make container candle? Those are some of the top questions that I receive all the time. And if you take away anything from this video, is always to remember, scented candles come in a jar, you need a container wax. Pillar candle stand on their own, they need to be harder, you need a pillar wax. <laughs> Now that I've got your attention, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Supporting this channel and liking the video, you tell me that you like this content and that you want me to keep sharing all of my secrets. The video is an unboxing and a reveal. An unboxing because the lovely people at Live More in the UK have kindly asked me to pick some products that I love, asked them to send me all the products that I already love and use so I can share them with you and I can finally reveal what wax I'm using for what type of candle. If you're in the UK, I strongly suggest you check out their website. They do supply all kinds of crafts, including candle making, and you can find a discount code in the description box below. So without further ado, let's open and reveal what wax I'm using. First up, let's talk container wax. Container is the technical term to describe a wax that is supposed to be used within a vessel that will therefore be all of your scented candles. A container wax by definition, because it is contained within the vessel, can be a bit soft and it's kind of what you want. You want to, it to melt faster to create a melt pool, which is then in return gonna scent all your room. The wax that I've been using pretty much since the beginning is this one. Eco Soya CB Advanced. It's a soy wax. This one is soy. Made for a container. It comes in pellets. So as you can see here, so you just put it in your melter or your double boiler, depending on the scale of your operation. I use a um, soup kettle to do all my scented candles and this wax I would say is great when you're a beginner. Why is that? Eco Soya CB Advanced is one of the wax that has always given me the smoothest stops, no sinkhole ever, very good adhesion to the glass, it has a very good hot throw, however I would say that it is quite difficult to wick. I have found, depending on the fragrance, that for me you can wick with an eco wick or a CL wick, it works really well. I think it is a lot of trial and error, but it is true for all candle making, especially when you're making scented candle. Scented candle is very much the most complicated part of candle making because there's so many parameters and there's so many things that you need to be mindful of. This wax, I feel, for a beginner, is not as hard to work as others. Yes, you're gonna need to invest in a lot of wax to, to get to the point where you've got a product that you're proud to put on the market and sell to others. However, once you've cracked the recipe, you're gonna be able to scale that and to easily get a candle that has a really good hot throw, really good quality and really easy to achieve a really smooth top, smooth finish without having to take corrective action, like using a heat gun. This has been my wax for all my scented candles since the beginning of my uh, candle journey. So I would definitely recommend that. So thank you Live More. That is great that you stock such quality wax because it makes it quite easy for candle maker to identify what wax to go for. So I would definitely recommend that one. Next up is my all-time favorite, is my absolute go-to. I'm, I'm most known for my decorative candle. This is the bulk of what I do. And I've had a partner of choice in this wax since the beginning of my candle journey. And this is Kerasoy Pillar Blend. Kerasoy Pillar Blend is a blend of soy wax and other vegetal wax that is an amazing pillar candle wax. I can hear you asking already, but Marion, how many type of wax is there? Probably group them into two. Pillar, which would be wax melt as well as the standalone pillar candle and container. 
And the two have two distinct set of attributes. I've already discussed them in another video that will link up. For all of you asking me what I use, I'm using this one. The work for what I'm doing, this is the best wax. Now, the way you wick that wax to achieve good results, trial and error. And you need to, t I've had really good results with the Eco series, TCR series. So there you have it, the wax that I'm using all day long, every day. I feel like for me, this is the best wax for what I am doing. The lovely people at Livemore have also sent me two other wax. One I've tried, one I've never used. And another thing that is also a ingredient that some of you guys have um, recommended to over in the comment as far as hardening candle. So the next one is Echo Soya Pillow Blend. I have actually used that wax because I've started to dabble into making this type of candle. And I decided to kind of play around with some color, which is not my brand identity usually, but I realized that my usual carousel pillar was not necessarily the best with colors and that I wanted to try something different. And Eco Soya Pillar Blend, and that was a game changer. Um, so for my tapper candle, like the one I just showed you, so the, the candlestick, I'm using this one and they are all colored. And one thing to note, however, is that this wax tends to be very temperature temperamental. Well, and I've always found like a double pour is the way to go. Otherwise you tend to have some sinkholes, but this is also one of my favorite wax as it comes to pillar. So a pillar blend and Eco Soya pillar blend are my two go-to. Uh, wax for making sculptural candles. One that I've never tried before is the Eco Soya CB135, which I've heard a lot of good thing about. When I started to make candle, it was locked down and there was lots of um, out of stock product for uh, candle supplies at the time. And this one was pretty much out of stock over time and I shifted to the CB Advanced. But this one I'm looking forward to try out. And when someone in the comment section said around what do you what can you do to make your wax harder some people have recommended this product which is sterine i've never used it um never tried it so if you've got any recommendation on how to use this let me know um but i'm looking forward to try that product so there you have it this is Everything that was sent to me by Live More, so thank you very much for partnering with me for that video. And these are the wax that I'm using for my business on a day-to-day -day basis. If there's one thing that you have to take away from this video today, when you're making scented candle, you need a container wax. When you make pillar candle or candle that are made with molds, you need a pillar wax. The rest, whether it's soy, paraffin, coconut whatever is irrelevant as long as you're using the right type of wax container or pillar then that's the right place to start big thank you to live more for sending me all my favorite products so don't forget to check them out if you're based in the uk i put the link down below and a promo code for all of you guys i hope that was helpful and that answered all your burning questions and i will see you very soon Bye.